Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with Success for Your Songs. Uh, if written well, a captivating title can be enough to pull people into your songs like a magnet. Of course, once they're there, you have the job of holding their attention so they don't float off, but getting them there in the first place with an effective title can be a great place to start building entry with a song. So in this video, I want to take you through the effectiveness a title can have through the lens of the song Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. So let's take a look at what makes that title and therefore the rest of the song work so well. If you're not familiar with this song or if you just need a refresher, I've included a link for the YouTube video below this video. Uh, it may also be on the video as well. So you can just click there to check it out and then come back and uh, we'll finish talking about it. So the first thing that works well with this title is it creates intrigue. So if a potential listener sees the name uh, of a song before they hear it, they'll be left with the decision regarding whether or not they should listen to your song. People are curious, so a little bit of intrigue can go a long way. That's why songs that have titles that are questions tend to get listened to. It's uh, by its nature a question wants to be answered. A uh, listener may hope to get the answer to that question um, to the question that the title poses by listening to the song. But questions aren't the only way to create intrigue. There are other ways to be compelling as well. The title Slow Dancing in a Burning Room is a perfect example of that. It has a great visual uh, which makes you want to hear more and know more about it. So this song is about a deteriorating relationship and knowing that, which song would you rather hear if you never heard either one before? One called Our Relationship is Ending or one called Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. I mean, I know I'd pick the, the latter every time based on the intrigue. So an important thing that this song does is it paints a picture with its imagery. A lot of song titles sum up what the song is about in a pretty generic language, and that's a totally fine approach that's used in many songs uh, since the verses tend to usually do the heavy lifting when it comes to painting the picture with very specific language in the song. However, in Slow Dancing in a Burning Room, the title manages to sum up what the song's about while using rich imagery to paint a picture before you even heard a note of the song. And that's not too common in popular music, so it makes for a real bonus here. It may not be as commercial as having a more vague bumper sticker type of title, but in my opinion, it's very effective in this case. The idea of slow dancing while the room around burns is a great metaphor for trying to keep a relationship going while it's clear that everything is falling apart. So that charade of the dance can't keep going for much longer. Um, also, we need to look at the last line of the section uh, as an important placement for a title. I mean, it's usually wise to have the title of a song appear in a position where it sounds highlighted. So it becomes clear that it is, in fact, the title. This helps listeners find your song if they don't already know what it's called. And an easy way to highlight your title is to simply put it at the end of the section it's in, uh, because the last line tends to demand a lot of attention. And you can see that in this song when you listen to the title. So uh, if you can't clearly hear it in your head right now, you can go back to that YouTube video at about a minute in, uh, maybe a little bit before a minute, you can hear the, the lines that lead up to the title and then the title at the end of the section and you'll see how that stands out. So uh, if you'd like to take a second, just pause this and go listen to that at about a minute in um, until you get to the title. So also another important thing that happens here is the title is the catchiest part of the song. Um, you know, another part of highlighting a title happens within the melody. Uh, when you make the melody of the title different from the melody that happens around the title, it makes it stand out. And you may have noticed that that happens in this song. Um, when the title is sung, the melody is different than it was in the two lines preceding it. And the whole section that starts on uh, the line, we're going down, has a melody that's different from the section before it. So it really makes the title stand out melodically to let you know that it's the name of the song. So the title Slow Dancing in a Burning Room is strong enough that its ideas trickle their way, trickle their way from the title into the rest of the song. Specifically uh, in the strength of the imagery being used. I mean, it goes to show you that if you start with a really solid concept, uh, and the title itself can often be considered the overall concept of a song, 
this can really help you to get the ball rolling on a strong song. So if you found this information helpful and you would like a lot more information on improving your lyric writing, I've got two free lyric writing cheat sheets for you right below this video. So if you don't already have those, uh, grab those below this video. And thank you for taking the time to check this out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.